This show is brought to you by Bosch Thermo Technology. Bosch's latest HVAC equipment offering includes the high-efficiency BGH-96 furnace, the new IDS 2.0 heat pump and air handler with efficiencies up to 20.5 sear, and a brand new IDP heat pump package unit with efficiencies up to 19 sear. Find out more about these cutting-edge systems by attending a Bosch webinar. There's links in the video description. Is there something, Brian, that you do in your employee vetting process, your hiring process that helps you ascertain how they're going to work that someone else might not do? Or is it just kind of a standard process? Um, so we're constantly involving with that. Um, I'll, tell you, I'll tell you one of the early things that I learned to do that's been helpful, and then I'll tell you what we're doing today that's been very helpful. Um, what I learned to do early on was ask more open questions and let people talk. Um, don't give them a sense of what answer you're looking for when you're talking to people because that's the first thing somebody does when they come into an interview is they're trying to figure out what kind of person you are so they can give you the answers that they think you want to hear. But if you ask really open questions then they, and they don't know quite what the right answer is, then a lot of times they'll give you information um, that is helpful in making the decision because people who are uh, – one of the big characteristics that I look for are people who uh, complain and blame. Um, do they blame people in their personal lives? Do they blame past employers? Do they complain about things in their personal lives? Because they will do the exact same thing with you. Um, and when you ask open questions, they'll start to go into that. So you just say like, so where have you, you know, where have you struggled previously in the trade? And they'll say, well, what do you mean by struggled? Well, where have you struggled previously in the trade? What are some struggles you've come across? And if they say something like, well, you know, I, I've always kind of struggled with the uh, low voltage electrical diagnosis. You know, that's something that I've, I'm working on and it's always been a little tough to me. See, that's a good answer because mm -hmm. you're just saying something, you're saying a fault in yourself. If you say, man, that blankety blank who I used to work for and the way he did a bit, a bit, a bit, a bit, you learn a lot about a person and a lot, and you'd be shocked how many people do that. Do uh, they really come in there and blame somebody oh, that they used to work oh, with? Oh, absolutely. Now, they don't do it without being asked those open questions. But when they when you ask them those open questions, they start to think that that's what you're asking. But people hear what they want to hear based on what it is they want to say. That's a kind of a universal right. characteristic. Um, another thing to listen for when you're talking to people, and if you do this, this is true in personal life too. People will tell you the thing that they want to talk about most even when you didn't ask the question, right? Perfect example. Rewind. That weird little di uh, diatribe I went on about my dad or whatever when Zach asked if my dad was hard on me. That's an example. That's something that's a very uh, current thing that I'm processing through, and that's why I said it, even though you didn't ask the question. But people do that all the time in interviews. They'll bring mm -hmm. up things about their personal lives or their past boss or whatever, and, and you'll and you'll catch on to that. Um, but the biggest thing that I would encourage everybody to do today that you can implement without having to play mind games with people is have them do a hands-on. Uh, skills test of some sort every new person who you hire, no matter regardless of how inexperienced or experienced they are, and make it simple every time. Make it pull the top off the condenser, unwire it, wire it back up, and put it back together. Because what you'll find, and we've seen this with experienced people, inexperienced people, they'll start to make excuses. The ones who won't work because they don't really want to work in front of you. They don't want to be put on the spot like that, and I understand why. Like It's not necessarily fun, but People who want to work aren't worried about that. I can tell you we might be a little nervous, but none of the four of us are going to have a problem, you know, grabbing a nut driver and pulling the top off a condenser and putting it back on again. It's not going to be a problem or even something we haven't seen before. But right. a lot of people, when you're asked to do that, they'll start making excuses. Well, it's been a while since I've seen this unit, and oh, man, I'm not used to using this type of nut driver. You know, they just start talking and exposing so, themselves. So do you give them a choice between an impact and a nut driver? I would just give them whatever we happen to have around. Oh I don't make so it. Cool. I don't make it complicated. I mean, it's, hey, it, it, it's, I want to drill. You got to drill, dude. <laughs> that was a good tool segue. <laughs> yeah, that's how you get out of it. I'm, yeah, I don't really think this is the appropriate tool. Do you have a different tool here? <laughs> no. Oh man, I can't. ethically I can't safe. do your yeah, test. I mean, yeah. What if I said, "Well, can I walk out to my truck and get my impact?" <laughs> he just drives away. I can handle this. <laughs> <laughs> just squeals the tires, fish tails. No, you want to really yeah. mess with them. Yeah. Put a table out and put all kinds of different brands of nut drivers, like Clyde and Southwire <laughs> and all this. One you get. <laughs> when he goes to grab for the Southwire, something you go, ooh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you start writing on your pad. At, mm, mm, that might mm -hmm. work at one hour, pal. That's perplexing. That, that's perplexing choice. 
Yeah. Like to, yeah. yeah, I mean, the point isn't, there aren't right or wrong answers to all this stuff, and there aren't right or wrong ways of doing things, but you learn something about somebody. Rather than a lot of people have the interviews, they get in, and it just becomes like sermon hour. You know, like, they just start spewing facts about themselves, and then the, the person who you're interviewing, they just reflect you. Um, and that's not helpful. Uh, what you really want to find out is, what is this person made of? Do, are, do they want to work? Do they actually have some aptitude and some skill? And do they have character? If, if you have those three things in place, you know, people are going to work out over time, uh, if, as long as you're not, you know, a crazy lunatic.